Hey everyone, Prepper Brothers here. Today's video, we want to talk, talk communication. communication. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> See a lot of videos talk about uh, communication after an SHTF situation. So today, I, su I suggest we start talking about it today. So before it happens, let's talk about that. So we want to have a plan. You, know, you want to start talking different scenarios with your family and friends. Uh, right now so they have an idea of what to do if uh, Something like that was to happen if a disaster was to happen, you know I've talked with my brother a couple of times and we still don't have An exact plan. I guess it's not an exact science. I guess you would say mm -hmm. but at least we're, we're starting to talk about things yeah, uh, You also want to <clears throat> you want to have a place to meet uh, where and when you want to know what the timeline is, but you also have want to have a location uh, and maybe even backup locations. You can get uh, pretty detailed in, in to having a plan. So it's really up to you what the details are. Um, but make sure you have a place to meet, where and when. Yeah. Important thing to remember too is not to panic. Uh, if you're safe, stay safe. If, you, if you're, there's no danger to you in the place you're at, just you know stay there. It may be, it may be a little while until communications get back up, but once they do, you, you'll be able to call so that's important if you if you panic and start searching for people that may cause more harm than good um, yeah and, and that's just uh, I'm gonna touch on that um, if you have a plan stick to the plan like if, if your plan is to uh, hunker down and bug in then do that even if like communication fails and you can't talk to like, like if I can't talk to my brother I know what the plan is I know what I'm supposed to do so I'll do that and then after a uh, designated time period then we can start looking for each other. Then we can start like moving on to step two. Okay, so just know the time frame. Uh, again, that was just uh, I want to touch on that real quick. Also, uh, you want to practice. You want to do trial runs. Tri uh, practice grabbing supplies, doing meetups. Don't use if you don't have cell phones. Don't use your cell phone to meet up. Like have a, a designated time and place to meet up. Maybe in a day. Maybe sometime in the week. Um, but just do practice runs to make sure that you. Again, touching on the last one, don't panic in that situation. Get your brain, get your body used to it, and then you'll be ready for it. That way you know where all your supplies are. You know, everyone has their job to do. Um, next point is to uh, have a time frame. So say like, okay, we will stay at this location for this amount of time, okay? Um, just between ourselves, I said you've said that if something drastic happens where we can't have communication, if we don't have cell phones or something like that, our day, our our time frame is two days. You know, we're going to stay put for for at least two days. You know, that that amount of time should be enough time for like some kind of communication to be up and running. Uh, so that's that's just between us. You uh, people out there, you can. Have, have your own type of time frame and different scenarios to call for different things. So that's that. Okay, and then also, uh, if you do leave uh, your place where you're supposed to meet up, be able to leave some kind of message behind telling uh, your, your your group where you're going uh, and like the ETA. So well, what, what you want to keep that time frame in mind all the time. You want to like give them a reference to when you were last there and where you went so they can still meet up with you. You have to keep communication there even when communication towers are down. All right, that uh, pretty much wraps up our video. You know, if you like it, if you have a comment, you know, what are some of your plans that you uh, work with your family or your friends or your like-minded group of people? Um, uh, do you have one? Does this inspire you to make one? Is there anything um, that we missed? Yeah, is there anything we missed? This is all about learning and making community uh, everywhere, you know, all across the world and the country and things like that. So uh, we want to know. We want to hear your thoughts on that. All right, so now we're going to do our question of the day um, that we ask you out there to tell us the answer. So my question is, what are the qualities of a great survival knife? So what do you want to have on your knife if that's the one you were carrying? Uh, let me know. I, I, that's something that I've always kind of looked into. I mean, I, uh, so I want to hear hear your answers out there. Um, so again, if you've enjoyed this, you know, like it, comment on it, subscribe. Uh, we would really appreciate it. Any videos that you have, please feel free to, to leave the link. Uh, you know, and I'm more than happy to go in there and, and sub it and, and view it too. So always want to learn new things.
Thank you for watching.